And the prophet would kill at the age of 40. No. And your bees are always going to be. You can't attain prophethood. A prophet is always a prophet. Right from the outset. This is why when the Rasulullah said, boy, when the Rasulullah
So I have a like this, and these, by the way, right down the reference, I take you to where they want to check it. It's written in the Wahim by the Dunya, and it's uh, reported by Imam Kastalani, who is a great woman to see, and is accepted as a narrator by Imam Bukhari, and he is also, in Imam Kastalani, who writes in his book, Mubahim by the Dunya, and it is narrated by Sayyidina Omar. Sayyidina Omar, Ibn Khattab, Amir al Mani, the radio Taliban, narrates this hadith, and he says that when Hazrat Fatima was taken out of Jannah, when Hazrat Fatima was taken out of Jannah, and he wouldn't have been here for hundreds of years, some of the seen said thousands of years, he wouldn't have been here. And he's saying, Oh Allah, I don't know about myself, peace with you, peace with you. Until one day, Hazrat Fatima was taken out of Jannah. And Hazrat Fatima was taken out of Jannah. Said, Ya Rabbi Asaluka Fi Hakki Muhammadin Ya Rabbi Asaluka Fi Hakki Muhammadin Oh Allah, forgive me on the Hakka of Muhammad Forgive me on the Wasila of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam The Wasila of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Who came first? Who came first? Ali said, I am Ali Islam or Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Who? Right there. Ali said, I am Ali Islam came first, isn't it? Yes? So I am Ali Islam saying, forgive me and you will see that one man? Which means what? That there was a life before this life. There's a life before we come into this life. Yes? Okay. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Fine, I forgive you. I forgive you. You ask in the name of my beloved. You ask in the name of my, my beloved. I forgive you. It's like you, know, you do something wrong and you go to the father and say, Please, for the sake of your child, I forgive you. For your child, I The father said, I'm sorry about that. Because I, I'm identifying that love. No, I'm not saying that. You know, Relationship existed, I identified with her. And that's what I said, fine, I forgive you. But hey, I love that one brother. How do you know one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows everything. Yeah? Allah knows everything. It's true, isn't it? Why did Allah ask? Didn't Allah know how he knew one Why did Allah ask? It was a rhetorical question. Sometimes a questioner asks a question to teach the people around him. Yes? To teach other people. For example, I, Alhamdulillah, know the Faraid of Wudu. The Faraid of Wudu. Am I saying Shaykh Yasser? Can you please explain to me what the Faraid of Wudu was? And then he announces it so that everybody can hear. So, despite knowing the answer, a questioner may ask. A question. So I asked my brother, I asked, Ya Ya Rafta Muhammad, and do you know what the response of Hazrat Ali Islam is? Hazrat Ali Islam said, وَمَا خَلَكَتَ لِي وَلَقَقْتُ فِيهِ نُوْهِكَ بِيَا No! 
and rejection of the voice at any stage, at any stage, is perfect. And he takes your eyes like the phone of the And anybody who says that, I this is being recorded, I challenge them today. I this message will go out everywhere. We issue a challenge here today as students of the Nazi Islam Shah Jalal of Dawah Siddiqui. That anybody who wants to challenge the permissibility of Milad, the Hayat of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, no special issue or any other issue in relation to what the Ahl of Sunnah wa Jamaah believe, tell me and tell the world this that we are ready to accept their challenge. Tell them to name the place and the time, whether it's in Africa. Except for what? As the mercy to the end. 
entire universe. To the entire universe. If I saw the last of the world, so is that how you be your mercy? To the entire universe? How do you give your mercy to the entire universe? How do you give your mercy to Which means that I saw the last of the world, so is it high? We see that we've proved. Nur, we've proved. We've proven that he existed before, he will exist now. We also, we're not saying that, uh, we, what we say is that he is the first creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa ma akhalaka lahu al-nuri. Wa ma akhalaka lahu al-nuri. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Rasulullah wa ta'ala, says that the first thing that Allah created was my nur. My light, that's the first thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created. And then, Allah took nur from light, from the eye of the light of Rasulullah sallallahu and created the earth. And then took light from the earth and created everything else. One last point before we do. One last point. <clears throat> On the night of Mayraj, on the night of Miraj. Do we have fun? Yeah. On the night of Miraj, or Suri Karim, traveled the heavens. And was accompanied by Jibreel Amin alayhi salam, the archangel. And they walked, and they went through all the heavens. And they met Hazrat Musa alayhi salam. And after Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa they got to the tree, the left tree, which was the final point of the universe called Sidra al Muntaha. And Jibra'il al Islam said, He said, Ya Rasulullah, I cannot take one step past this tree. <coughs> because if I take one step past this tree, my entire being will perish. It will finish. Rasulullah said, Why? Not that I hate it. Again, so it's a rhetorical question. Don't you break? Why can't you go back? Because at this point, creation ends. This is the point of creation. Creation doesn't go beyond this. But that creation that was referred to was me and Jibreel and Islam and you. That creation wasn't the creation of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a different kind of creation. It's not a man like this. It's not a man like this. Put it in the man and push it on the floor, who they say? And then they forget to read the rest of it? You are a layer? Put it in the man and push it on the floor? They say, oh my God, he even he says he's a man like this. You are a layer who has been divinely inspired. Which one of you has been divinely inspired? Which one of you has been divinely inspired? It's like me saying to you, I'm soft just like you, except that I'm soft on a chair. There's a difference, isn't it? There's a difference. So anyway, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa get to the point of Siddhartha Muntaha. Jibreel alayhi wa sallam says, I can't go further. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Siddhartha Muntaha. Jibreel alayhi wa sallam says, Siddhartha Muntaha. Today, I want to show you something. 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 All your life, you have served prophets. All your life, that's what you've done. You've served all our prophets. Today, let me serve you. This is our master. This is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa The humility. Today, let me do something for you. You're ready. Tell me. Tell me what you want. Tell me what you want. If I said to Hakimsa, I said, Hakimsa, tell me what you want. And Hakimsa said, well, I want a 75 bread from mansion. I feel a bit like, well, and he would say, well, why did you say, tell me what you want? If you can't give me what you want, why did you say it? But look at Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah is not so speak, wa ma'i lantiku, and in huwa, in huwa, in huwa, in huwa, the Prophet doesn't speak of his own volition, he speaks like the volition of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when the Prophet says something, he means it. He said to Jibreel alayhi wa sallam, he said, oh Jibreel, tell me what you want. Anything, whatever you want, tell me. Do you know what you bring that in some sense? He said, Ya Rasulullah, I want this. That when you go and meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, make dua that on the day of judgment, I 
I allow to spread my wings underneath the bridge of Sirat? Do you know that they are drinking the rope to be made on the, to walk on the bridge of Sirat, which is thinner than a hair and uh, sharper than a razor? Jibreel had said, I want to raise, put my wings underneath there. I was so nervous and I was so why? And Jibreel had raised up and said, Yes, for that. In case you are a you should fall, I am able to catch them. Jibreel had raised up and said, In case those people on the earth fall. He said, No, your moment is why? Because I have a connection with Rasulullah So Rasulullah said, Said, Jibreel, fine. That's sorted. Done. Finished. Then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Word past Sidra al-Muntaha Word past Sidra al-Muntaha A place where there is no place A time where there is no time And then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam heard a voice And that voice was Kifya Muhammad Kifya Kifya Muhammad Oh Muhammad Stop Oh Muhammad Rasulullah 